What the fuck? Is that your grandpa? <laughs> is that your grandpa? What the fuck is that? Hey, homie. Little ham. Little ham. It's your grandpa. <laughs> Take him out. I want that baby. Mm-hmm. I got him. Hey. He said, my hands is cold. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. There we go, boy. Yeah. Grandpa cold. got his cold hands on you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. There we go. What's up with you? <laughs> yeah. He's getting big, too. Yeah. How old is baby? A month? Two months. Two, Two months. months. Yeah. Blessings and blessings. I am, uh... just working through some of the emotions um, because I found out that my father died suddenly uh, the last night of Burning Man uh, which was essentially a day and a half ago and um, For the last two years, he's been in and out of the hospital once a month with pneumonia and different things. And every time the phone rang for the last two years, I thought, maybe this is the hospital calling from his phone. And maybe it's that time. Well, that time came. And uh, according to his friend who was with him for his last breath, the last thing he said was, my Jesus. My dad had his faults, but he was also one of the most beautiful humans you would ever meet. One of the reasons why I am so, um, why I love people so much is because when I was a kid, and I remember this distinctly, we would drive down the street in his red BMW with the license plate P.E.D. here. Preston Eugene Davis here. And he would be bumping Bob Marley at the top of the speaker system, singing at the top of his lungs. Could you be loved? Oh, be loved. And I remember my six seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old self just sort of smiling and thinking, this guy's crazy. And he would pull up to um, some of the homeless guys in the middle of the street, and he would talk to them as if they were the president of the company he was working for. He would talk to them with so much respect and reverence and just love for, for humans in general. And although my sister and I used to be very annoyed because he'd talk to everyone, um, it was uh, also something that I deeply valued and later on in life is something that helped me create an entire career because anybody who's ever worked with me no matter what they have to say about me, we'll all say the same thing, which is I love people. And that genuinely comes from my mom and my dad, but especially my dad. Um, My dad went to college with me. He slept on my couch. Um, He got down and out for many years. And some would say never got back up. the last few years, I made it my mission to do and have fun with my dad. So uh, I took him to the Lakers game. I paid for his rent, uh, for his house. I bought him a car. I brought him to see my son multiple times. And we got to break the cycle because I've never met my grandfather, any of them, and he had never met his grandfathers. And so my dad and I, and Kingston got to break the cycle. And uh, for that, I'll be forever grateful. I miss him a lot already. And uh, yeah, time, tears, 
talking. Um, you're never prepared for somebody you love to die. But what are you going to do? You know? It's my belief that uh, when somebody leaves the body, their consciousness is able to jump anywhere when somebody thinks of them. And so I have a feeling that my dad's with me right now, just smiling away. Everybody I've ever met of his friends knows my whole life story because he'd talk about my sister and I so much about how proud he was of us. The day before he died, he sent me a text and said that he is so happy and he's in tears. And then the next day, I called his friend Johnny and she said the same thing. She said, you gotta be kidding me. I just talked to him the other day and he was so happy and so proud of you guys. Have this video be, please have it be a reminder that you just never know. I feel super grateful that I got 39 years on this planet with my dad. He was my basketball coach, my baseball coach, my soccer coach. He was the dad that drove us everywhere. He was the dad out of everybody in my neighborhood that was there all the time. So, however, or whatever kind of dad you got, if you still got one, huh? or a mother, or a grandmother, don't take these moments for granted because they will be here today and gone tomorrow. And one of the things I could be really proud of is that I always picked up his calls. I always made sure I made time for him and our relationship. I made sure that there was space for him to know my son and to know me as a man. Um, for those of you who don't know, one of the reasons why I didn't change my name was because of my dad. People know me as Preston Smiles, but I am Preston Eugene Davis II. <laughs> And my dad is Preston Eugene Davis, the first. Um, so with that said, um, if you made it this far, thank you for listening. I got nothing but love for all of you. Daddy, I love you. You hanging with Grandpa? Yeah. And so actually yeah. That, what's he doing? My car was hey. by a drunk driver. What you got? What you got? Mm? And I was like, oh, wait. Can I have some? Uh, give me that. Give me that. Can I have that ball? Oh, I love that. Uh, give me that ball.